And what they're really talking about is how in an advanced manned platform or crewed platform like the F-35, in the future you will be able to work in concert, parallel, and synchronized with either uh, autonomous or semi-autonomous type of platforms. Uh, in the U.S. Air Force, of course, everyone is following how the Secretary of the Air Force and the team is looking at these collaborative combat aircraft where they'd like to have over a thousand of them by the year 2030 that will be able to work in collaboration with crewed platforms. Think of the F-35 or think of the F-22. And so in that environment, the ability to provide uh, mass and capacity against an adversary in a teamed environment of this advanced technology uh, that is actually being worked today and experimented with today in many forms and fashions will enable nations of the world tomorrow who choose to integrate uncrewed platforms, most people call them UAVs or drones, but in the future they're going to be very sophisticated, very capable, and these platforms could be sensor platforms, they could be uh, platforms that may carry weapons, and they can be controlled quite easily from a crude airplane. One thing, of course, is uh, the word AI or artificial intelligence is on everybody's mind and how you can use artificial intelligence uh, to, again, either operate these platforms in an autonomous environment uh, or to be able to use them in collaboration and concert with crude platforms.